today we put on our Instagram, what do you guys want to see in our next video? And we found it only fitting that one of our best followers, at Aussie Swim Coach on Instagram, recommended we go over a video about why underwater kicks are so beneficial going in and out of turns. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Edge on, pool cold, let's do it. Now when it comes to underwaters, we normally call this the fifth strip. The reason that we do that, outside of the flashiness of Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte and all the best underwater kicks in the world, is that by simply adding some underwater kicks to your swimming, you're both going to swim faster and farther with less effort. Now this may sound counterproductive because you're actually going to be taking less strokes, but if you think of this in terms of other sports, let's say runners, when you're doing a marathon, if you can limit how many foot strikes you do, your body's actually going to feel fresher by the end of the race. So that's exactly what we're going to accomplish in today's video. Now I just want to preface with the fact that whether you're a recreational swimmer or an Olympian, everybody can do underwater kicks. It's just a matter of the magnitude, how far, how fast, and how easy they come to you. But I guarantee you, if you're doubting yourself, everybody can do underwater kicks. So let's boil it down to what exactly we're doing. Now if you have any experience doing breaststroke or butterfly, what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna take that undulation, that full body butterfly-like movement that you do during that stroke, and you're just going to implement it into your entire body underwater. Let's simplify it even more. Go to your local pool and start sculling. That means basically just have your arms out in front of you, begin floating, and all I want you to do is start popping your butt up and down while flexing your abs. It's gonna look like this. So once you've done that undulation and you feel pretty comfortable with your sculling, all we're going to do is we're going to try a few dolphin kicks, let's say two or three. And we're gonna do them with pushing off the wall so you have that added speed with the movement. All you're gonna do is take a nice, tight, tight streamline, all right? Ears tucked into your arms, tight streamline. You're gonna push off the wall and just do that normal undulation, all right? Now the key here is that we do not want everything to come from the arms and the legs. We want everything to revolve around your core. So try and flex your core as much as possible and just try and make everything move. You're gonna feel like a dolphin. It's gonna feel weird, but I guarantee you, it'll feel fast as we get to it. All right, so I'm at the wall right now. I'm gonna about to push off. I'm going to make a super tight streamline and I'm going to push off and just do a few undulations. All right, this is what an underwater kick is. It's a full body movement. Okay, I'm just gonna take two or three and we'll see what it looks like. Ready? Cue montage. Three, two, one, boom. So once you've done that, you've got it. Now I told you in the beginning, every single person in the world can do underwater kicks. It's just a matter of the magnitude to which you wanna do it. Now, if you're a recreational swimmer, I would recommend adding at least two or three underwater kicks off of every single wall. If you're working towards more of the competitive side of things, you really wanna start holding yourself to it and training to a reasonable expectation of maybe six or seven underwater kicks off of every single wall. That way you're going to get into the muscle memory habit of always doing underwater kicks. The repetition is going to make you do them faster, stronger, harder, going farther, and being able to be consistent mentally and doing them off of every single wall is going to keep you from being lazy at practice. One really cool functionality that the edge is able to do is it can track how many kicks you do off the wall. It looks a little bit like this, where the app can show you your average kicks off of every single wall within the context of a workout. Personally, I think it's one of the most useful tools that we've added to the edge because I always stressed about how many kicks I was doing off the wall. And sometimes you lose sight of how many kicks you're actually doing during practice. So it really helps be able to see what the edge sees in the app afterwards. Underwater kicks are one of the most valuable tools that swimmers have. But the thing here is that you have to be smart in using them. If you have any questions regarding underwaters, or if you just wanna chime in on what our next video is going to be, please comment down below. Also guys, remember to like and subscribe, sign up for the Edge giveaway down below so you can get one of these shiny guys, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.